Hello Edwin, what are you doing? Hey Bloomer, I'm taking this poster to the mainland which have letters for Santa. That's wonderful! I also heard that Mallard is coming by to visit, that means we're getting a reunion of worldly dungeons. Well, almost. Too bad Flying Scotsman isn't coming due to him being overhauled at the National Railway Museum. Well, at least there's next year. True, I must be off now Bloomer, this poster isn't going to deliver itself. Good be Edwin, I'll see you at the party at Tidmouth on Christmas Eve. Hello there, Mallard. Long time no see. Wait, you two know each other? Yes, we met once back on the LNAR when I wore that Copley Hill before coming to Soder. Is Spencer also coming to the party on Christmas Eve? I think he will since he did came to the one last year. As Mallard puffed away, a black tender engine with the LMS letter name on his tender and the number 3256 on his sides. Hello, you must be helping out the workload for Christmas. The engine didn't notice something, but then he saw something that made his boiler run cold. Is that? No, no it can't be. As Edwin was returning from the mainland, he saw Sonny talking to Thomas. Oh, hey Thomas and Sonny, what are you talking about? You know that black engine that arrived at Vickerstown earlier today? What about him? I saw he had two familiar people in his cab. Who? My old owners, Baz and Bernie. They were a pair of thieves that acquired me after I was withdrawn in the 1960s and they brought me to this railway three years back during the science convention at Ofsted Castle. But they were arrested when they tried to steal Kenji who was visiting the railway at the time and after that I became part of the NWR. Oh I see. I'll make sure I keep a good eye on them for you. Thanks Edwin. Meanwhile, in a small shed near Crovens Gate Station. Uh, why did we come here again? I was about to explain that, Bernie. 
I'm going to dress up as the bloke in the red suit and the beard, and we're going to steal any Christmas decoration from anywhere on this island. Aren't you forgetting about me? Oh yes, you're the reindeer that everyone pokes fun at because you have that red nose. But then on Christmas Eve, the red bloke lets you guide his sleigh. And they start liking him and start being used for commercialism. Uh, but what about me? Uh, what was your name again? It's Fowler, you idiot! Oh yeah. Uh. That night, on Thomas's branch line, the engines were asleep in their sheds. But as Fowler came sneaking in, Thomas opened a sleepy eye. That's strange. I thought there were no other trains except for Percy's poster on tonight. <laughs> Must be imagining things. But it wasn't. Bad loaded up most of the decorations into the truck and he left the yard. The next morning, the engine woke to find the decorations missing. Where did they go? Who on Sodor could have done something like this? That's what I'd like to know. I hope we find out who did this. If we look around the railway, then I'm sure we'll find out who did it. Thomas Parker to North Road West. The small railway engines were there. Any of our decorations? Well, when I woke up this morning, I couldn't see them anywhere. But I did see a black tender engine. Maybe it could have been Neville. Or Hero, or another engine from the mainland. I don't know about Neville or Hero. It's a bit out of character for them to do so. And then maybe it could have been Rusty? Is now dead, you muppet. Hey, don't you call me a muppet, or else I will call you one. Stop arguing, you two. Thomas does have a point. It couldn't have been Neville, Hero, Rusty, or Mavis. So who else could it be? Maybe Normal. I don't think so. Fowler was heading back with the decorations when he saw Normal. What are you doing with this, Rob? Fowler had to think of something fast, or else he would get caught for stealing decorations from Farfrock. I was, uh, just taking them to the workshop because... I saw they could do some fixing up. Okie dokie. Good excuse, Fowler. Fowler took the truck to the ship, but they were unloaded. That night, at Wellsworth, Bill, Ben, Boko and Edward were sleeping in the yards when Fowler puffed in. Hey, Ben, who's that? Oh, how should I know? Ugh, I'll go and ask them. But Baz had an idea. I was, uh, taking them to my workshop because they were in bad nick. Uh. Okay. The next day, Boko and Edward woke up to find a shocking sight. Where in the name of God did the decoration? I have no idea. But who could have done this? For the next few nights, more and more decorations have been stolen all around the island. James Norman, Edwin Mel, and Ned, for some reason, were at Natford Station when the Fat Controller came up. As most of you may know, that all around Sordor decorations have been stolen, but we don't know who exactly is behind your dish. But if this keeps up, I'm going to have to cancel the Christmas party. That's a bad sign. I was looking forward to the Christmas party. Don't worry, I promise that I will keep a good lookout for who is doing it. But who do you think it could be? Was it Diesel? No, it wasn't me. 
Then who did it? How should I know? Early the next morning, which was Christmas Eve, the engines were at Tidmouth Shed sleeping when Fowler, Basil and Bernie came sneaking in. At last, the final declarations that we haven't stored yet. Edwin then woke to see Baz and Bernie loading them onto the flatbed. Hey, what are you doing with our decorations? Oh no, we've been found. What do we do now, Baz? It's time to make a run for it. You put that Christmas tree back. You'll have to catch us first, you silly little engine. Edwin blew his whistle to wake up the other engines. Edwin, what is it? Follow that engine! He's taking our Christmas tree! Shouldn't we wait for our crew? There's no time to wait! Why are we so driven all of a sudden? Fowler raced down the main line with Edwin, Gordon, James, Henry, Bear and Duck right behind him. You can't catch us. We can and we will. Gaining on us! To go faster, you heap of scrap metal, or else you'll be going to the smelter's yard. The chase ended at Croven's Gate. What's going on? That's our Christmas tree! And those are our lights! Hand them over now! And no one gets hurt! But why should we? You heard him! Give back our decorations! Fast forward for a second, but then he started to see what he was doing was wrong. Alright, you can have them back. I also wanted to get back at Sonny for turning against us when the science convention happened at Alston Castle and being sent to jail on the mainland, as well as finding Fowler in that old shed and started using him as a replacement for Sonny. I might end up going back there because of this. After the engines, Baz and Bernie left with the decorations, Edwin saw Sydney. How long have you been there, Sydney? I swear I might have seen you before. Um, uh, uh, not very long, Edwin. I mean, uh, I forgot. It's been about two years. Two years? That's a long time. Yeah, I've been waiting for my wheels. I think the order's been misplaced. As Edwin headed back to Tidmouth Sheds, he had an idea. Along his way, he had a visit to the pack controller at Napton Station. Soon the decorations were being returned and the engines were helping to get it ready again. 
you know, I'm really glad that they've been found. Aye, so am I. How much needs unloading? I need to get back to the sheds before the party happens. Don't be impatient, Diesel. It won't be much longer now. Soon everything was ready. Who was that? Yes, it is me, and thank you, Edwin, for giving me the best present ever. Now I can be really useful again. Present? What present? My new wheels. Merry Christmas to you. Hey look, Mallard! It's your brother Spencer! So he came to the party after all. And everyone had a grand time at the party. Sonny was also pleased that Baz and Bernie had changed their ways. But uh, as for Fowler on the other hand, he was sent back to the mainland and was turned into a generator as punishment. Well, this stinks, but I think he deserves his punishment, don't you? So, kids, what have you learned today? Plain and simple. Don't steal other people's decorations, or else you will end up like Fowler. Thank you all for watching, and have a very Merry Christmas. Christmas, everyone!
snow. 